Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Do you see what's before me? Do you see what is in front of me? All the bottles. All the bottles. All the bottles. I'm excited because I got my largest bottle order. So I'm doing some orders for a rhythmic team, elite rhythmic team. And they wanted this color, had to run out. I did not have enough of the color, but I was like, yes, I have it. So you know me, if I didn't have it, I was gonna make it happen. I was not passing up this order. So I have 31 bottles to do for this rhythmic team, front and back. So I want you all to watch me work tonight because I'm excited. My son is sleeping. He got in trouble. That's a whole nother story. So he got, he went to bed early. So this left me with peace and quiet in the house to get some work done. So y'all see me do bottles before. This is simple, straightforward. I'm not using any special vinyl. I'm just using Oracle 651 tonight. No bling. That's how I like it because there was no way I would have been able to knock these bottles out in one night, blinging them all and shipping them out tomorrow. So you're going to see me process everything, how I prep them, how I apply the vinyl, how I seal them. Cause a lot of people have been asking me, how do you seal your bottles? These are really easy because you don't have to seal Oracle 651, but I always do seal, you know, just spray a light coat. So you'll see what exactly I use, how I do it. You'll see me package them all up. How I, cause this is a large order. Normally I've only packaged, I think like 10 at a time. So I gotta see, I don't even know. I, gotta, I don't even know if I have a box big enough. So we gotta have to make this work. I started to go live tonight. I was so nervous. I really wanted to go live for you so that way you all can ask me any questions about anything that I've been doing, anything that you've seen so far, but I'm a punk. So let me know if you guys want me to go live because I will definitely start going live. Ooh, it's cracking in my voice. I will start going live, but I was a little nervous tonight and I was like, I gotta have it right for the first time. Before we go any further, before I jump into the video, cause I know you can't wait to see, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel for me, please, because that would definitely help my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like anything that you see. Now let's get started. Let's do some bottles. Let's pop some bottles. a dollar and you can get them from Walmart so I'm gonna use this for the first time this is my 12 by 24 cutting mat just came in time I just got this from Amazon and it was like 20 something for like three in a pack so this is gonna come in handy when I have these big jobs or when I have longer names because I do a lot of sleeve works that's longer than 12 inches. So it's so frustrating. And then my 15 by 15 mat that came with my um thing, man, that thing is already messed up. And you can't find those anywhere. So when you order these, because the different colors will let you know the different levels of stickiness. So depending on if you have cardstock, vinyl, if you have fabric or anything like that, you want to make sure you get the right one. I'll have it linked down in the description box below. But I believe this one was, I forgot what it was called, but this is like the second one, standard mat. This one might be the standard one. You want to make sure you get the one for the right material that you need. Okay, so that's cutting, and I'm going to go ahead and clean off all of the bottles. Okay, this is the first name that I had did. Okay, and that's actually about to come out. And that's done. Okay, so this is the second set of names. This is done. So I'm just gonna pull this off. Now, if this was the wrong 
type of mat, it would be left behind. Some of it would be left behind. Now, just that's just a little piece because the mat is actually brand new. So, you know, when you get you a brand new mat, it's sticky. So, all it did was just leave that. All right, so I'm going to cut this off and weed everything out. So you see me prep them. So now I'm just going to start applying the vinyl. So there's a line that's like right down the middle. So I'll always try to, since it's front and back, I'm going to cover the scratches with the names. This is my transfer tape that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to put it down in the middle apply some pressure and pull up just like that now I want to make sure it is centered I'll turn it around afterwards because I definitely need to look at it I'm not gonna go straight I'm gonna go in a curve motion so now I can turn it around. I'm gonna go in a curved motion because the bottle is curved. Making sure that I don't have any bubbles. Then I'm gonna peel back. That's tight. That I can reuse again. I was using one for the big names and I'll have one for the smaller names. So pull that up and I'm just gonna turn this over, making sure I get them positioned right. Okay. Run my finger through that and then Go down. Elite, elite Rhythmics. There you go. So that's how the bottle will look with their name on it and their team name at the back. I want to make sure they're all, that's pretty much at the same distance. Let's get it.
still picking everything up good. And as long as it's picking it up, you can still use it. Don't get no easier than that. Okay, I'm in my garage and I'm gonna show you how I seal the bottles. Hopefully you can hear me really well. I'm outside, my garage is open. I need some air because it's hot. But I use the Rust-Oleum 2 times 2X, the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Color Clear Gloss. It is to seal and protect. Yes, you can use this to seal your crafts anything it gives it a clear finish a gloss finish and it seals so you don't see any residue left behind i'm going to take off all the tops just because i don't want the top spray um you do not smell does not leave a smell that's the one thing so that's another reason when i do spray paint my bottles i seal them because when you spray paint you can smell the spray paint, but when you seal it, it takes away the smell, at least in my opinion. Okay, so because I need to cover the top of the bottle, you don't have, well, yeah, you should. I'm just going to hold it just sort of kind of like that. You see how I got it wrapped nicely around the edge, and I'm just going to spray so I'm gonna spray this way. Normally I spray into the box, but I have so many bottles. And so you can see better what I'm doing. Just a light coat all the way around the bottle. Don't just spray on the design. It's a bottle and you want it to be even. So I spray evenly around the whole thing and I'm just gonna keep it moving. You do smell it you know, when you first spray it. But you do not smell it after you spray it, after it sets, after it dries. I don't want anything on the rim because I don't know, to be honest, if that's FDA approved. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm making sure I get where the names, the vinyl is really good, but at the same time, I'm giving it a light coat around the entire thing. Nothing going inside the top. Nothing going in the rim. And you can pick Again, the bottles up at Walmart. You cannot order them online. You can only do pick up in store, at least here in my state. And you can order this at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere. Painting supplies are sold. So you see, I'm just going around literally twice. And that's all I do. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know. If this is something that you'll do, but what you do differently. I'm here to learn from you guys as well. Don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to keep these videos coming. As I said, I'm going to be doing some resin. I'm going to be doing, talking about branding soon. And I'm going to be talking about ads. So stick around for the channel. I have lots more stuff. Oh, and I got some supplementation coming up. Some more supplementation projects. So you don't want to miss out on those. I got you all. Everything you need, I got you. Everything you need, I got you. So you see this one? I did this one and I just finished spraying all of them. It's pretty much already dry because I did a light coat and it's already sealed. But I'll let them sit. I will not wrap them or anything until at least an hour or so. I never wrap them, package them, but because now it's already four, after four, I'm just going to ship everything out tomorrow. So you'll just see me package it up and we out. <laughs> okay, so I'm packing everything up and I had to try out a few different size boxes because I'm trying to use less boxes as possible. 
So after figuring out different sizes, I have this size that is a 10 by 10 by 10. It would only fit at most 10 bottles. That means I would have three boxes and one left over. So this is a 12 by 10 by eight and it fits uh, 12 bottles laying down three rows. So I'll have to have two boxes and probably one of those, or I'm gonna see if I can fit um, some in this or another type of poly mailer. So I'm just using the tissue paper that I got from a Dollar Tree. They come like 35 in a pack and this one for a dollar, 35 for a dollar. You can't beat that. So I just wrap each bottle individually. I put those in there because I was taking the thumbnail. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put a little thank you sticker on each bottle. Now Etsy, you know, Etsy is really weird when it comes to shipping because Etsy will, I guess because I have it priced and have it packaged for like one, buy, um, one, one bottle as if I was shipping. So whenever someone buys something in bulk, Etsy makes all these different labels. I mean, it created literally, I think about, I want to say it created like 10 labels at like five something each because it was literally charging them to ship it as if it was like one or two. I'm not sure how to, I'm not sure how Etsy does it, but you know, you go in there and you change your labels yourself. So when I and it estimated the shipping cost at around 50 something dollars. Now, because I'm doing free shipping, that means I would have to pay 50 something dollars. Oh no, 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 no. We got to change that. So of course, once you actually get your items packaged, and that's why I was playing around with the boxes because you know, I have to put it on my scale, weigh it. Once I did that, um, three boxes, each box would be under $10. So I'm only um, paying around $30 to ship compared to what Etsy um, estimated at around 50 something dollars. So you definitely have to learn Etsy, the shipping, which is not hard at all to do. It's really simple. So I'm just going to zip through this really quick and then get everything packaged up. And that will be a wrap. As always, drink sexy and I will see you next time. Bye.